Okay, so today we are actually going to disassemble this Apple time capsule. Um, it's no longer working and I want to throw it away, but there is actually a hard drive with my backup data in this one. So before I throw it away, I actually want to get the hard drive out of that and now quite frankly i've never opened one of these but since that is apple i guess there is not an easy way to do it um, but that's not really a terrible thing right now because as i said um, it's broken anyway so we are or i am throwing it away so that doesn't matter if we break it so first can take these felt things off but okay I just realized that there is actually no screws under them and now what we can do let's just peek in there because sometimes with these Apple products and I know people have like these fancy openers so we already can peek inside here a little bit and nothing is going to happen you know what as i said i'm gonna throw it away so you know what today we are doing the the radical approach so that is not a repair guide right if you have one but i actually just want to get to the hard disk drive so i was just wondering if maybe something here if we would cut in there we would actually maybe see some part where a screw is attached. I can see a like a PCB board there, but no, it's not opening here. I'm pretty sure nothing's ever going to happen if we try to open it here. You know what? That is actually like a Fort Knox construction. So, uh huh goes actually this way I'm not sure if you see that so what we can do we can actually just do it that way okay so you actually have to lift the lid now I could have watched a I'm pretty sure there's like a repair video and stuff like that but as I told you I'm getting rid of that so that's more a video for people who enjoy destruction of Apple hardware which I'm not recommending but that is what we are doing right now with Choi and you know what let's do it a little bit more radical and yeah and it's still fighting me that thing you know what it's kind of clued in there so, but we are not giving up, right? And, aha, uh -huh. aha, uh -huh. there we go, there we go, we're almost there. Now, I'm pretty sure um, I would actually do that more gentle if I would want to keep that, right? So you see it has like these little spikes in there, which are actually pretty pointed and sharp. I'm 100% sure that we're gonna find the hard disk drive and beneath there. But you see, um, there's actually no way to get to that here. So there are no, obviously no screws, no nothing. Well, we see some here. Maybe I've opened it the uh, wrong way. And since I told you I'm gonna have a radical approach, that is what we are going to do. And people who ever repaired such a thing are gonna hate me for sure. You know what, that sound, that looks actually as if the hard drive is sealed in there. And if it's sealed there is a secret right 
and we are unveiling that secret. And there you go. It's a product made in Thailand. It's a tool, so I'm gonna actually use that in my PC. That's perfect because my PC, I just have a one terabyte hard drive and a lot of SSDs to be honest. So, um, and that is the only thing I ever wanted to um, have. So it's a Western Digital SATA hard disk drive. And that's actually what I was hoping for, that it's a SATA drive. And now with my radical approach, there is just one thing we need to keep in mind. I actually want the hard disk drive uh, to survive this, if that is somehow possible. So if um, I just wouldn't know how that's actually installed in there. I see a little screw there. And so, but obviously you cannot get to that thing. So it maybe, maybe we need to kind of go this way. Aha. Uh -huh. You know what, I showed you maybe the wrong way. Uh, you can actually snap that from below as well, like so. And it's not for light-hearted people, I guess. So, yeah, that actually looks good. Oh, hard disk drive just comes out like so. Ha! Huh. Alrighty. Um, so, number one mission accomplished. We have the hard disk drive. You see it's a ordinary SADA drive. And that thing is, that survived. It's actually pretty hefty in weight. So, we have this one already secured. And then basically, we don't need anything more. I'm not sure what that adapter is. Uh, it looks like a sensor. I'm not sure if that's a shock sensor or something else like, I actually cannot tell you. Oh, what, you know what I see? There's a little fan in here as well. And oh, just for the fun, let's crack that open, that whole thing here. Um, if we just have a chance to look inside here. Um, okay, so. Now you see it's just dangling uh, at the power connector. Alrighty, so we cracked it open a little bit more. And there are some wires running around here. No clue why, but you know, that's like with, with a lot of Apple products, it's just not service friendly. I, I know why they do it, but you know, on the other hand, if you buy a PC, for instance, I know that's not a PC here, but if you buy a PC, you can actually repair and do with that thing whatever you want to. Oh, and you know what? All that here, it's basically uh, pretty much glued. You're almost baked together. So, uh, but we can't, aha. Uh -huh. See that? Now you come to the screws. So that would mean actually if somebody wanted to repair that, you have to get rid of all that rubber here. They completely clued it on that part. And then you finally get to the, to the screws. And I uploaded a video the other day about an old um, 68, a Motorola 68,000 uh, Mac you want to watch that and that shows you how service friendly old Apple products were at the time. Now this product I'm actually giving up now because um, just actually not interested what's in there. Um, although it would be cool if we just, since I'm throwing it away for the sake of destruction, could have a look inside here. But you see that? Oh like I'm not sure like wonder clue or whatever um, man so 
Oh, by the way, let's just have a look here before I throw it away. It's a time capsule, two terabyte, model number A1409. And it's just for people who want to look that up. I bought that uh, many years ago. And you see every corner kind of holds a screw here. So that's like almost watertight. And oh, holy guacamole, that is, man. I don't know why they did it. I mean, just think you wanted to replace the, the hard drive in that thing. I'm pretty sure, as I said, there is like a repair guide and I'm doing it completely wrong. But as I said, I'm going to throw that away because it's no longer functioning. And therefore I'll give you that video just to enjoy the total destruction of an Apple product. And as you can see, there's another screw here and then I'm pretty sure there's one here. And oh, okay, so uh, you cannot blame Apple for not using um, the most stickiest adhesive Wonder Wonder Glue ever. You know, you know what? I almost hurt myself, so I'm gonna stop using the knife and. What kind of screwdriver would you actually need here? So it appears that it's actually a ordinary Phillips, or maybe not, but it's such a tiny one, which I most likely do not have. That's of course a bummer. And maybe that's the end of that silly video. Uh, it's not the end. So um, you need a super baby, tiny Phillips screwdriver for that. And then you need more patience than I ever have. Then I'm pretty sure we do not even find all the screws which we can unscrew. But I'll do my best. There's another one. And there is another one. Kind of pointless now because, as I said, I just wanted to get to the hard disk drive anyways, which we've saved. And I'm gonna put that in my uh, Windows PC tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I cannot read the data from it, but that's okay because I backed it up to, uh, to another drive already. But I hope that I can actually format that thing and then use it. But what I'm going to do, I'm maybe gonna just search the internet if there is a software where I could recover the data, but then, you know what, I just realized most likely the data on the, that hard drive is encrypted. So that makes no sense. We cannot recover that data anyways. And that means we just format that hard disk drive tomorrow, since it's a regular SATA drive. And you know what? There is not another. Also, in case you have one of these and you want to repair it, uh, now you know how not to do that. And you don't have to start at the bottom. You actually have to start at the top. Um, <laughs> but maybe that video is helpful for one of you. So at least you're going to see how that thing looks like and what you maybe wanna avoid in doing. And you know, that takes so long. It's almost a relaxation video now where 
a silly guy is just talking and somebody can watch how I'm getting rid of that rubber and you know what I'm actually surrender what the heck so it is it's almost going off here but as I suspected, there is a somewhere another. Yeah, I'll take the knife away. There's just another screw holding that thing together. But as we started the symphony of destruction already, uh, we are finishing in it. And so there are. What? That's not even a screw. What is that? What's th that's just a rubber. Okay, that's just like a rubber keeping it there. And kind of pops off. Uh, uh. Yeah. 200 pounds of brute force are always helpful. And so we have a little fan in here, and then obviously there was the circuit board with the electronics. And what is this? I guess that should be the power supply unit. Well, I guess that looks like a power supply unit. Delta Electrics Incorporated, made in China. Yeah, so that's most likely I'm not. Oh yeah, okay, that is 100% uh, the power supply unit. And then we would have the electronics, the main board here. And that's basically, um, as far as I remember, you could use that as a router as well, which means that this part here, these cables, these wires, are maybe some kind of Wi-Fi antennas. But I am, yes, I'm not an expert, but that one reads HF. So that's definitely um, the, a Wi-Fi antenna if it reads HF. So we have, the antennas going around that thing so there was the router and then also the um, electronics for all of the rest of that and I'm not sure if I'm getting to them but I guess that's not really interesting anyways well if anybody ever watched that video thanks for watching but we actually at least uh, recovered the hard disk drive. That was actually the whole goal of that. And that is what I would call the symphony of destruction. And if you actually ever listen to the band Megadeth, they have a wonderful song called Symphony of Destruction. And it was made for people like me who are tearing apart electronics in a well, not so kind fashion and manner. As always, thanks for watching.